Welcome back. 14 minutes to the top of the hour. In last October's presidential and legislative elections, Mozambicans voted Philippe Nyozi of the governing Frelimo party into power. The former defense minister, who only gained 57% of the vote, will be inaugurated this coming Thursday. For a look at the Mozambican electoral system and what to expect under the new president, we are joined in studio by Aditi Lal Bahadur from the South African Institute of International Affairs. Good to have you. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Good morning. All right. So, Philippe Benuzzi, um being inaugurated now, why, why the delay? Uh, well, actually, what's happened is that uh, over the past few months, um, there, you know, there have been sort of contested uh, contestations around the election results, particularly from the opposition party, uh, Renamo, and the MDM. Yeah. Um, and that actually had to go through a constitutional process of ratification through the Constitutional Court. And it was literally on the 30th of December that the, the court announced that they, that they were happy with the, with the results, that they, that they found them to, to be substantively free and fair. Okay. Um, and so I think that was an endorsement of, of the elections and that's now obviously allowed for for New City to, to be inaugurated. All right, so let's let's get back to basics. Who is Philippe Nussi? Philippe Nussi is uh, he's a, a, a Frelimo candidate, yeah. uh, a stalwart in the in the struggle in the in the liberation war that uh, uh, that uh, sort of uh, that Mozambique under, underwent. Um, he and obviously he's he's got a lot of you know he, he's got the credentials from from that uh, period, but then he's also a tried and tested member of cabinet. Um, um, and yeah, like, as you mentioned, he's been the defense minister for a very long time as well. Um, so I think he's um, at the time when he was when his candidature was sort of up for discussion within Frelimo, there was a lot of uh, sort of a lot of debate about whether he was the right candidate or not. Yeah. Um, and I think now it's you know the, the rigorous process that candidates undergo through within the party structure itself. I think you finding a candidate that has the strong support of of pretty much everybody within the organisation. Yeah. Um, however, at the time uh, it was quite contested. He was he was one of two candidates. There was a Luisa Diogo who was the the vice president of of Mozambique, um, and very much supported by a, a faction that was supporting former president Shisano. Um, and Philip Nussi is, is, is thought to be more of the Gabuza sort of faction. Um, but yeah. That's, that, that's pretty much so looking at it. I mean, yeah. we look at Gabuza, he was given a um, 75% mandate. How much credibility does 57% give this the incoming president and the ruling Frilimo's hold on power? Well, I think I think what that is is really reflective of um, growing sort of. Um, Unhappiness within Mozambique about the about the uh, economic situation and then the disbursement of of the resources to um, you know to the average person um, in, in in Mozambique um, and so I think it's still a strong mandate. I think what it is though is it's up to it's, it's a message to to the ruling party to actually say there's you know it's not you, th th that there still needs to be a lot done um, for for Mozambicans in order for them to be. To, to sort of firmly endorse the, yeah. them again. I mean, you look at Mozambique right now, I mean, they're sitting on the brink of extreme wealth. They Absolutely. really are. I mean, they've uh, discovered a vast natural gas resource recently in the north. Um, obviously, this discovery has to be uh, used to grow this economy. Do mm. you think that this is the man for the job that can do this for Mozambique? Well, I think I don't think necessarily we should be looking at uh, in Mozambican politics uh, the man for the job. I think it's really more about the political party for the job. Um, I think it's the, the, the political structure in Mozambique is such that it really is um, it's a party machinery that's in place. And I think the the one uh, thing that you have um, that is a sense of continu continuity is the fact that that Frelimo has been in power um, since 1994. And continues to be in power so there is that level of continuity um, I think what it is saying is that what whilst Mozambicans are you know happy for the the resource uh, discoveries and so on there is a growing disgruntlement about uh, the way in which these the, 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 the dividends from these resources are being distributed and dispersed out and you can see that a in the decline declining uh, support for for Frelimo at the polls, but you can also see this in the increased support for, for Renamo. Um, and that's a bit worrying because, I mean, Renamo has, you know, over the years uh, actually been dwindling in support. And this is the first time it's had a really solid, you know, a much more solid uh, 
um, sort of um, electoral count than yeah. than in previous years. Yeah. Well, I mean, we still look at. I mean, we look at Frelimo, which has ruled uh, Mozambique for like 40 years, basically mm -hmm. since its its independence. Um, uh, they also won the majority of seats in parliament. I mean, what does this mean for them? For Frelimo, yeah. Um, like I said, I think it, it really is just an endorsement of, of their their mandate. Um, I think the the major thing that we need to take away from this is how how the how the country is actually going to to or how the government is actually going to to respond to the political crisis that seems to be sort of emerging that doesn't seem to be uh, quelling uh, that is a major concern yeah. for 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 the government uh, particularly because that actually has an impact on stability and uh, political stability in the country which has a knock-on impact on on political on, on economic investment in the country so if you if you're not seen to be a stable country People are not going to want to invest in you. You can have all the diamonds and all the coal and all the, uh, the fuel in the world. But you need uh, a, yeah. stable, a stable yeah. government. Um, our president, Jacob Zuma, is uh, reported mm. going to be attending mm. this inauguration. How important are, are South African and Mozambican relations? Actually, I think South African and Mozambique have very strong relationship uh, with each other, particularly when it comes to operating in, in the in the SADC region. Uh, South Africa, from a political perspective, ac often relies on Mozambique for for political support in, in pushing through a lot of its um, its sort of agenda um, and you see that also that Mozambique you know even though it's one of the poorest countries in in the SADC region actually has a, an incredible responsibility um, in peace and security on the, um, in the, on the continent so uh, you know they've been very involved they were very involved in, in uh, mediating the Madagascan dispute for instance uh, they are involved in mediating the, the dispute between Tanzania and Malawi as well so um, I think that you know uh, President uh, Zuma going to for the inauguration uh, in a few days' time, is signaling that actually he's willing to continue that kind of fraternal relationship with Mozambique. And, and, is it, and there's an expectation that actually Mozambique will continue to, to be a, a prominent player in the region. Aditi, thank you very much for talking to us and uh, shedding some light on uh, last October's presidential and legislative elections. Mozambicans going to the poll, voting Philippe Nuzzi as the, the governing Frelimo party into power. The inauguration happening on Thursday. Joining us in studio is Aditi Lal Bahadur from the South African Institute of International Affairs, who mentioned to me off air she is looking for candidates to change her surname. So <laughs> <laughs> you're on the market and you're looking. <laughs> I had to say it. There's no way I couldn't advertise you here on the program. Look at this. Some lovely eligible ladies here on Morning Life. <laughs> Thank you for, thanks for being our guest and, and I'll let you go as you blush away into the passageways.